is about to be the best start of the week ever. We're headed to Hell Yeah Gluten Free to get like donuts or a breakfast sandwich. I haven't quite decided yet what. And then we're heading to watch Wicked. So this is like the perfect little Sunday. We'll walk on the belt line to get to Wicked. Perfect little Sunday. Welcome to Vlogmas. Yay! I obviously am not posting every single day, but I am planning on vlogging every single day, basically from now until Christmas and a little bit beyond. So even though it won't be more frequent posts yet at this point through December, it will be more vlog within each video that gets posted. So that's kind of the spirit of Vlogmas that we're going with that I'm very excited for. And after Christmas in the little week between Christmas and New Year's, I will be posting every single day during that week. So from, what is that, December 26th to like January 1st? If that is the seven days, sorry, we're really doing a lot. If that is the seven days, <laughs> January, December 26th to January 1st, then those are the seven days that will be getting posted every single day. We have a lot of fun things planned starting, like I said, right now. I'm hungry, my coffee is ready to go. I'm wearing my little green airy sweater. And let's have a fun Sunday. Wicked was so good. It did not feel like we were in the theater as long as the movie actually was. I think it's two hours and 45 minutes and then it was like 30 minutes of commercials at the beginning. So we left at one. It was like 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. which is a crazy difference entering and exiting. But it was so good, like very well done. I don't wanna speak too much on it to not like spoil anything. I guess by the time this video comes out, probably if you're like really excited about seeing it, you'll have seen it, but very good. And since it's just the part one and part two is coming, it's that long with just a part one. So it gets to like actually develop characters better than like the musical has time for, but like not going off necessarily like, from what the musical does, just like develops them better in the story, I feel like, which is just very exciting. And then Cynthia and Ari are just like powerhouse singers. I saw a TikTok that pointed it out and it's just like so cool actually seeing it in the movie, but like when Cynthia and Ari sing together, it just sounds like it's one voice. Like it doesn't sound like, oh, Cynthia and Ari are singing together. It sounds like it's just one voice. And it is so cool. It is so beautiful. They did really so well. I went grocery shopping before coming home, put the groceries away. I just did like a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of unboxing, some registry gifts that we got, which I'm very excited for. And I'm gonna eat and make a cup of coffee before going to work out. And I'm kind of hoping to like not do too much else today other than that. I mean, honestly it's 3.12 now, which is not late, but just like by the time after I eat and sit for a little bit and then go work out and then come back, like I'll have a chill evening time by that time. It took me until right now to remember that this is Thanksgiving weekend. Even yesterday, whenever I was starting the vlog in my head, I was thinking that it was gonna be a whole seven day one. And that's not true because I work on Thanksgiving. Sorry, this is so dark. I work on Thanksgiving. And so I'm going to do that as it's like, oh, separate, like kind of more in depth working in the hospital on a holiday vlog, which I think would be cool to see and cool to film. The only other holiday I've ever worked on was 4th of July and that was back at the old hospital building. So I mean, just like things will be different. Cause also I don't know in the ED how Thanksgiving and 4th of July compare, but I do feel like, I don't know. I do feel like they'll be different, but I'm not exactly sure how. I guess I feel like on Thanksgiving, the only people coming to the ED are people who like really have to be because I don't feel like you're coming to the ED on Thanksgiving just for like for something that can wait. Sorry for this atrocious lighting. I just made my breakfast, as you can see. That's what we're doing down here. This is my little outfit. I need to sit down and sew almost all of my fig pants. I don't know why they do, so this one has a hole. Can you see that? There's my thumb. This one has a hole right here. Another one of mine's getting a hole on the inner thigh. And then another one of mine's getting another hole over here. It's just like not as developed. So I need to sit down and sew these. I think it's gonna be a good week this week. I think it's gonna be a weird week with Thanksgiving week, but I'm gonna try to appreciate. It's 724 right now. So I actually do need to kind of like rush and get ready. All I have left to do is like deodorant, perfume, which I've still been trying my little holiday sampler pack, put on some mascara, eat my breakfast, make coffee. And then I think we're good to go. <laughs>
you would not believe the absolute package fiend that I have been lately. I like don't even think I can show you all of the unboxings that I'm getting nowadays in my life because it's insane and I'm embarrassed about it <laughs> with all the cardboard and everything. But I did get an Amazon order and then a registry gift came in today that made an absolute pile over my doorstep. Work was good. Things are starting to slow down, knock on everything before the holiday because we only have, today's a Tuesday before Thanksgiving. So we have Wednesday and then the holiday itself. And I do think that like the hospital tries to get as many people discharged as they can before the holiday. Surgeries don't actually stop until Thursday itself. Like there will still be some people getting elective surgeries tomorrow, but then Thursday is a day off from surgeries. But then obviously emergencies happen, but I think less non-emergencies are in the hospital around a holiday. I have still been so obsessed with wickets since we saw it. Like I've been listening to the soundtrack. My entire TikTok for you page is all wicked. And the funniest part to me right now is the amount that I'm like, Oh, that's actually a different box than I thought it would be. The funniest part to me right now is that while I'm not at all like a theater kid, I have known and liked Wicked before the movie and have gone to see the musical, I think just twice, but I like watched it on YouTube whenever it was on YouTube and definitely know the soundtrack and everything. And some TikTok commentary has been funny because everyone is about like valid in their own thoughts and feelings and not everyone was familiar with the musical before the movie came out. But the fact that it's just part one means that there's just like so much that if people don't know what happened in act two, then they obviously don't know. But I've been seeing so many things of people finding Easter eggs or like making connections, having theories that are literally just the plot of Wicked. I literally, and this one has been cracking me up in a polite way. I saw someone say that the striped socks and jeweled shoes that Nessa Rose, they show Nessa Rose wearing through the movie is symbolic of the Wicked Witch of the East and is like a nod at the Wizard of Oz by being symbolic of the Wicked Witch of the East. That one made me laugh. That one that one genuinely made me laugh. It's bringing joy to my life. And then there's other things where people are like, they're so creative, like with Fiero singing about being brainless or when Alphaba says, I'd be so happy I could melt. People are like, oh my God, gosh, that is so creative. Like I picked up on the Easter egg when that's like, that's the lyrics of the song. And that's why they're the lyrics of the song. <laughs> Cause it's a prequel to the Wizard of Oz. Now there definitely are like more subtle, like nods to the movie that were just like creative decisions in the Wicked movie, but aren't like literal plot points. It's like your literal plot point is not a theory. That's just how they wrote the movie. Like, well the book and then the musical and now the movie. It's like why the plot is good. <laughs> because it has all those things. So that was a portion of my slow day today was all of those thoughts. And then the other portion of my slow day, there is a person that has been posting the full, sorry, I was like focusing on getting the, because I didn't actually even need to get the plastic off of this, considering they're not used until my wedding. Oh well. There's a person posting full Barbie movies on TikTok and it's lovely. Like I watched a portion of Barbie as the Nutcracker today and then I watched a portion of Barbie as the Princess and the Popper today. It's incredible. Okay, I did not need to get this out of the plastic, but I just got two 24 by 36 inch frames, which looks huge. It does, it really does. I thought about getting 36 by 48. Um, I'm glad I didn't do that. It took me thinking in my head, I was like, Anna, like you are more than 48 inches, but you are not that much more than 48 inches. Like 48 inches is, that is big. So I got 24 by 38, nope, 24 by 36. One frame will be for our welcome sign. I'm not positive what the other one will be yet, but it'll be something. And tuck these away. Some people who do like a lot of DIYs have entire like wedding closets leading up to weddings. I don't have enough and I don't think I'll quite have enough stuff that that would be necessary of me, but I think we're definitely gonna get a bit more cluttered as we get close to the wedding, just cause there are items that will be around. <laughs> Oh, lovely. I got these glasses for me and bridesmaids for the day of. I think they're 10 ounce glasses and I'm gonna do like a little just like black ribbon around the bottom of it or something. Possibly personalized, possibly not. I haven't decided yet, but I'm gonna keep this piece of styrofoam to keep them safe, I think, until, until the day of. I'm planning on doing bridesmaids boxes that I'll give my bridesmaids when they arrive for my wedding because since they all live not here, I didn't actually get them anything like for the proposal. I literally just like sent a mail because if I were to get them anything, it would have to get shipped to all of them. So I think I'm gonna do like more of an actual gift whenever they arrive wedding weekend. <laughs> Wait, this is funny. <laughs> also, I thought this was another part of my order that I got. This is actually a registry gift, mixing bowls. And then I thought, I thought he was joking when he said he got us rocks, but he did get us rocks and that's kind of fun. Volcanic ore, surprise, volcanic dig kit for ages six and over. 
that is funny. But these bowls are cool because they have all the different sizes and then they have different tops too. Like so they have grating tops for cheese, vegetables, like all that stuff, which I thought was convenient. And we don't have mixing bowls that we like, so. That's a good registry gift. I don't know where the other part of my Amazon order is. This is all making me chuckle. <laughs> it's a gift from one of Zach's friends, but his gift note just says, congratulations, Anna. Thank you. I love Crate and Barrel's big gift boxes that stuff comes in. Cause honestly, I'm using these boxes now. Like now I'm saving them and using them as storage for my non-bridal closet storage needs. Like I have a big one over there that I'm planning on putting like all of the bridesmaids gifts and stuff in. And I'll probably just do another one that's like for the welcome party and things like that just to help organize. Also, I don't know if anybody noticed, but I'm so proud of myself for breaking down all of those boxes like in the moment. That was so kind of me to future me. Let me tilt you downwards a little more so you can see this. As we open it, I've also been saving these ribbons because like how I said, I want to do ribbons around the glasses. Look, I have like 12 feet of ribbon just from this gift box. Sorry, I whacked you. I'm actually not positive what is in this one. Okay, well, there's, there's a server that I think used to be in this bag. <laughs> it's kind of cold. Ooh. And these is a set of eight of these bowls that we got. Cereal bowls. That is awesome, because right now we use three bowls. Now we have a good amount of bowls. Oh, and then this is for silverware. The silverware we use now is what I got heading into college. Which is great, like we haven't had any reason to set that up at all. But this is a new silverware tray and it's expandable, but I'm not sure, I'm not positive how that works. Let me see. I think it's gonna work like this. Yeah, so like it could be like that or it could be how it was originally. That's cool. That's very cool. Don't hate me for this. There are actually two packages in my package locker right now too, which I can't, I'm, I can go get. I'm telling myself I can't go get until I go work out because they're all together in the same room. So after I go work out, then I can bring those back with me. Oh, the mixing bowls come with a couple spoons and stuff too. That is such a good deal. That is such a good deal. Don't be fooled, I'm wearing the same outfit as yesterday. Really, because it's like a sweatshirt, so it's what I'm wearing on the way to work, so I feel like it's a multi-day use, but then I did wear the sweatshirt all day yesterday. Honestly, I probably could change the sweatshirt I'm wearing, but oh well. Today is the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, so it's like weird vibes, especially because I'm working Thanksgiving this week. In my head, I'm like, oh, so I'm on Thanksgiving break now, but I'm still going to work, but I'm trying to like channel the Thanksgiving break vibes while just still going about my normal Wednesday routine. I don't know what I foresee for the day. I fear if I foresee it, then it will not happen but I do think that today is going I hope today is slow just for the sake of like people like <laughs> I hope that they are not in the hospital and if they are in the hospital it is a peaceful day for them it's about 7 30 right now I'm gonna have one of my fair life protein shakes for breakfast and get on to work very quickly I feel like my head's not been like in it for the past couple of days so I'm trying to get my head back in it I have still been feeling just like a little off. Like just, I feel like in my head or just like, well, it's not quite real. <laughs> not that dramatically or like that deeply, but I just think because like Wednesday before Thanksgiving, I don't know, I'm like, it's a weird time to work. And then the fact that I'm working tomorrow, I'm excited for, but I just think that like knowing that everyone is like in their hometown and getting ready for the holiday and I'm not, is like weird. I'm not upset about it. It's just like, I can tell that I'm in a different cycle than I feel like a lot of the people that I know are right now since healthcare does not stop with holidays. And I really like, there are so many perks to me working tomorrow that I'm excited for but it does just feel weird overall, which I feel like is why my head's not been in it. Pardon the beeping, I don't know what it is, but I've just like tuned it out by now. I just did some legs and now I'm gonna walk on the treadmill while I edit a TikTok and I am excited. I'm gonna do like a full in-depth video tomorrow, like day in the life video of working at the hospital during the holiday. I don't feel nervous going into this holiday. It's my second holiday I've ever worked, so I don't have a lot of experience, but it is super well staffed tomorrow. So even if it is busy, like there's someone around that knows how to do everything. So I'm not gonna be in a position where some Something comes up that like I'm not trained in and I don't know like there's help around <laughs> which is awesome and I don't go until one so it's like a different kind of work day and holiday pay and evening shift differential and I get eight hours PTO just like in my bank so lots of good things for tomorrow but I think this week the beginning of the week was more not even a slump just more like normal than the high that I've been on and that's why I kind of started feeling weird probably should have just like taken time off vlogging instead of trying to vlog but I tried to vlog <laughs> and this is the video that we're hanging out for so I really appreciate you 
be hanging out with me for it. And I'm very excited for the ones to come. So make sure to subscribe so that you see it. And I'll see you then.